Actually, there's a quick thing I wanted to mention with this video. I'm actually doing an experiment with 4K. Now, I don't actually have a 4K resolution capable camera. I'm still uh, shot this thing and I'm shooting this now with my uh, existing Canon HF G30 camcorder, which I shoot most of the bench uh, footage here. And it's capable of uh, 50 frames per second because it's the PAL. Um, Australian version. It's not the international one. And I shoot all my footage, including this one, at 50 frames per second. And for the last, I don't know, what, six months or something, I've been uploading that high frame rate. I've been rendering my, editing and rendering my videos in 50 frames per second. And a lot of people out there say, I love, you know, the 50 frames per second. It looks really great. But uh, there's also been some people that have been saying, well, uh, if you use a particular type of browser, it forces you to watch full HD in 50 frames per second and it chews a lot of extra bandwidth, etc. And, well, okay, fair enough. Now, also, uh, my before I started this high frame rate uh, video stuff, I uh, actually, I just discovered a little while back that I was actually, um, my Sony Vegas software was actually blending uh, frames together, and that's why some of my footage wasn't probably as crisp as it could have been. And I've been uh, fixing that uh, for the last couple of months at least. Um, so my video should have actually been sharper. But anyway, uh, YouTube actually does, you know, a fair bit of compression and stuff like that. So what you see on YouTube is actually not really the full uh, quality that I'm actually shooting and rendering and exporting uh, the video at. YouTube has some loss. So what I want to try here, I've been uh, reading that if you take regular HD, like I shot this, like I'm shooting this video with now, and you upscale it to 4K and you render in 4K, and then you upload to YouTube in 4K, if you've got a 4K capable monitor, which I don't, so I can't, I'm not able to uh, test this myself really, uh, but if you watch it in 4K, it provides a higher bandwidth, higher quality download option. So hopefully, um, even though it's upscaled video, the quality should be better, and I think when YouTube detects that it's 4K and then down samples uh, to produce all the other versions because I just upload the full HD. In this case, I'll upload a 4K version of this particular video and then YouTube processes in the background all the different formats, you know, 1080p, uh, 720p and 3480 and, 6, and 360p and all the different uh, versions. It generates those. So hopefully, YouTube might actually generate a crisper and better version of my video if I upscale it to 4K. I know it doesn't kind of make sense, but people have done comparison videos of these sort of things, very careful comparisons, and they say they can't see the difference between a consumer quality, um, you know, i.e. one that I can afford, 4K camera, you know, like a one, you know, like a $2,000 4K camera, and 1080, and a regular 1080p camera, like I'm my HFG30 I'm using now, with it upscaled to 4K. They can't actually see the difference when you upload and view it on YouTube. On a regular monitor, on regular, you know, locally on your desktop, yeah, you'll be able to see it. But YouTube, because it, it does compression and, you know, uh, that sort of stuff, it actually doesn't, it tries to save bandwidth wherever uh, possible YouTube does. So I've heard that there's no, virtually no perceptible difference between a true 4K camera and an upscale 1080p. So that's what I'm going to try today. I'm going to uh, render this in 4K, upload to YouTube, and let me know if you can see the difference. So I'm doing this talking headshot now just to give some extra, um, you know, <laughs> extra different type of material rather than just the pretty much static uh, bench material. So I'll dance around. So let me know if you see the difference. This will be 30 frames per second. If this works, then I won't upload the higher frame rate anymore because I fixed the blending uh, problem. So my renders should actually be sharper than what they were, you know, six months, nine months, 12 months ago, that sort of thing. So if this experiment works, I'll actually continue to shoot at 50 frames per second on my Canon camera and 60 frames per second on my Sony camera, which I do like uh, talking head mailbag footage uh, with on that camera and I'll actually render in 30 frames per second in 4k instead of uh, Full HD in 50 frames per second, which is what I've been doing for like the last six months So it's an experiment and yeah, I can muck around with you know shooting some test footage and uploading to YouTube But nothing beats sort of you know crowdsourcing an opinion on this thing. Catch you next time